Okay, folks, interesting. I found this on the street. Another example of a rich person or pe throwing out stuff that's virtually brand new and not giving any thought about those less fortunate who, who would kill to be able to have their lifestyle, so to speak, and to have all that luxury that these bitches can throw things away. Waste fucking resources. Shit, I hate these sorts of people. Fucking idiots. Gonna leave it on a hundred for now. The old saying, more money than sense. I don't know how this one's going to look. Okay, let's see what this is. A pair of shoes. Sketches of, of all names. Fucking sketches and they're fucking wasting money. Maybe they were a gift that was unwanted. I mean, they are a pretty boring, bland sort of a colour scheme, you could say. Um, sketches, but... You know, they're not cheap. They wouldn't be cheap, folks. And I don't understand why I see so many people. We live in a very rich area. I guess that's probably why, because we do live in an area where snobbery rules and we have to accept that this is a snobby, snobby area that I live in. This uh, Camaray, Neutral Bay, North Sydney, just to name a few. Uh, suburbs in this local in this lower north shore area in Sydney so you just got all these idiots who who've obviously got more fucking money than sense and they're just trying it away by getting these things and somehow fucking being idiots about it you know you'd think that making money is a privileged thing you know like it's for people who are smart and astute if you could use a bit of a posh term, but these bitches don't seem to know. And they don't seem to have a fucking brain between their ears. Even though they make a lot of money. I don't understand why. Why rich people are not so smart. They're a little bit short of a, a lunchbox, short of a sandwich, perhaps, you could say. And speaking of lunchboxes short of a sandwich, this has come up looking really nice colour-wise. I just have to change the... Maybe the positioning is all right. Uh, maybe I could just... So, maybe... But they look nice anyway, like that. I think it's up here. I've got to move it a bit further up. But yeah, you just get the feeling these people are just, they're not smart, but they're able to make a lot of money and I don't understand why, why stupidity gets, ah, oh, it's this way, why stupidity gets sort of like rewarded. You get rewarded for being a stupid person in society and you basically make a lot of money being stupid and I've lost this stupid dumb dumb user interface and the people who designed this this photocopier are a bunch of fucks, fucking dum-dums. I have no respect for them either. They just care about money. And that's the thing, the love of money seems to do something to someone's brain. It seems to have an, in an impact on the fucking logical reasoning side of things. It sort of takes away, it sort of makes you a little bit dill, dumb, a bit dim. It's like you just don't know what the fuck Oh, now I'm trying to, f I'm just getting a bit hard to concentrate here. But basically you just get the feeling that these people who are rich don't seem to have any actual appreciation for what they have. 
and they don't seem to have, have a care. They should have just dropped it off at a fucking op shop for crying out loud or put it in a donation bin so someone less fortunate can have them instead of just chucking them on the street. There was also a pile of other shoes in a bag. I couldn't be bothered opening the bag, but there were other shoes, but these were, like, strewn on the street for some reason, and I just don't can't fathom as to why people are so fucking wasteful. You know, I have no respect for the rich people anymore. I've never... Res- have I ever respected rich people, folks? I don't... Oh, look, I've admired companies like Xerox. I've always been... I used to be a Xerox fangirl, and I guess with Xerox... Now, that's too far up, and that's too far that way. And with Xerox, you know, you... Oh, it's just another big corporation um, that makes photocopiers amongst all things. And I used to be a fangirl of theirs, but now I don't care, and I don't care what the CEOs and the other bigwigs think of me because I hate the way the industry's full of money fuckers and idiots, charlatans and loonies. And it is, it's a crazy industry. It's full of shit people. And I don't respect them. I don't respect the status quo. They don't make their equipment properly. They don't last long enough. They're not good for the planet. They make people alienated and angry. There's just no way, no way around it. It's just shit. Uh, just wondering if I'm going to make it, move it across, or maybe leave it. I just have no respect anymore for the companies that build the photocopiers. Uh, and they're rich people, and they're fuckwits, and they don't know how to look after the environment, and people who are smart. There's people who would build a better photocopier than them. They're called toner heads. A toner head is a photocopier nerd and most toner heads are just fanboys and fangirls sitting on the sideline rooting for their favourite company even though their favourite company doesn't care uh, about them. They don't care and they don't even try to satisfy these people. These toner heads. And the toner heads are out of the are no longer in the decision-making process of the companies. Back in 1997-98, there was a mass expulsion of toner heads from the big photocopier companies, or I think all of them pretty much have made them redundant, and they were made redundant. So, you know, fuck, we did. We have a, a big problem here of rich people with no fucking brains making uh, smart people like these toner heads redundant so there's no fucking in interesting even an interesting feature for your photocopier so your photocopier becomes a boring legacy driven uh, piece of shit anything that changes primarily is the hardware and it's ridiculous it's stupid but you know rich people indeed i have no respect for i fucking stick my finger up at them fuck you rich Fuck you to hell, bitches. Hope you die and go to hell, bitches. There you go. That's my little outburst. Just to show you how much I hate these bitches and how I don't care about them and what happens to them when they die. Oh, fuck me dead. I don't care. What the fuck anyway? Anyway, that's come up looking better than I thought. I think we can now call this demo quits.